Hello children, so we are learning adding without renaming. You already know this method, right? We can count on in ones. Okay, so let's practice this method. Let's try to add 26 with 3. 26 plus 3 using count on in ones method. Okay, okay, so we are going to add 26 and 3. We are going to jump 3 times on the number line. Okay, so 26. What will come here? 27. 1 jump. 2 jump will be 28. And the third jump will be 29. So 26 plus 3 becomes 29. Isn't it? This is what your answer is. Let's try this. Let's understand what do we mean by 26 plus 3. Let's do this using our straws. Okay. Let's understand what do we mean by 26 plus 3. Plus means putting together. Isn't it? Now we have 26. You know that we can break 26 into 20 and 6, right? 20 means 2 tens, right? And 6 is 1s and 3 is 1s. Let, let's make 2 tens. You know very well how to make 2 tens, right? So here are 2 tens. And then I want to add... Six ones. Let's add six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I have six ones. I'm going to keep it here. Okay. What all do I have now? I have two tens and six ones. I want to add three also, isn't it? So let's have three ones. One, two, three. Now I have all of my numbers with me. Okay, I'm going to put everything together. And this is what means 26 plus, 20, uh, plus three. Let's count. 10. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So, 26 plus 3 means... Uh-oh, it fell down. It means... 29 Ta -da! Children, do you know that we can add 42 and 20 mentally? It's very easy. You remember? Do you remember that we can partition 42? We can break 42 into 10s and 1s? Let's try it. 42. 42 means 40 and 2 1s. Yes. Four tens and two ones, isn't it? Using this method, we can calculate mentally. Now we have 40 and we want to add 20 to this. Okay, so four tens and two tens means four, five, six. Six tens, that means 60. And the number we, uh, uh, the number left behind is two, isn't it? So 60 plus two is 62 you can try adding 52 plus 20 you can try adding 62 plus 20 using this method okay try doing it mentally okay let's learn the next method so the method of counting in ones you know it's useful only when we have you know the ones is a small isn't it when the ones is a small we can use this method but what if our ones is big we have bigger numbers to add for example 42 and 20 
isn't it? Now we know 20 is 2 tenths, right? 2 tenths equals to 20. So this means if we count in tens, we have to jump two times. Look here. This is the number line and we have written 42 on the number line. Now, we want to jump two times because we want to add 20 to this, isn't it? So, we will jump 42, 52 and 62, right? You know that if we want to count in tens, we count it vertically on the 100 square. You can check using i mean you can use 100 square also to add okay look here 42 52 and 62 so if we want to add 42 and 20 we can use this method as well let's try another method of addition this is called vertical algorithm okay using um a base 10 blocks and a place value chart you know this is the place value chart and this is base 10 blocks. Okay, let's try to add 55 and 23. Okay, let's do it. So we want to add 55. We should write it in the place value chart. You know how to do this, isn't it? Tens and ones. So we are adding 55 and 23 together, right? So as you can see, 55, you know it very well that 55 means five tens and five ones look here in the base 10 blocks let's count how many tens are there one two three four five five tens and how many ones are there one two three four five ones this this makes 55 isn't it let's check 23 we know that 23 means two tens and three ones two tens means one and two two blocks of tens isn't it and three ones means one two three three cubes now let's add it remember whenever we, we are using place value chart the vertical algorithm we must add the ones first okay never ever start with tens okay children always remember we'll start with ones okay let's add ones see what happens okay Let's count. Add means we are putting it together, isn't it? So we have just put it together. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And this is what is written here, isn't it? Now, after adding ones, we will we'll add tens. That means we are going to put the blocks together. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven tens so the answer is 78 when we add 55 and 23 we get 78